Hey guys! Uh, I figured I might as well do Friday reads and all Friday reads videos will be done on my camera un unedited because one, why not? And two, I'm lazy. So there's that. So I can show you what I am going to read this weekend and let's get started. So I have first one reading book. Okay. Don Quixote by Miguel Cervantes. Uh, yeah, it's actually pretty good, and I will talk more about this later, obviously. Um, the next one is another really big chunker. Man. Against the Day by Thomas Pynchon, another huge one, also pretty good. I'm close to finishing both of them, so... Maybe in the next week I'll probably finish them. So there's that. And actually, I got two books in the mail today. Um, one of them I have already um, read, but it's like a really good. It's like a really good resource uh, for me when I'm having like writing and having discussions about these things, uh, because you know you have to come with receipts when you are talking about these things that no one has any idea like of what they are that they exist that this has happened and blah 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 it's really hard but i can manage i'm managing it so uh the next one is and you probably see me speak about this before ebony and ivy by craig stephen wilder uh, the Race, Slavery, and the Trouble History of America's Universities. Really good resource, just in general. Not about the universities, but about the states um, and the history, especially of the North. And, you know, you know, they had slavery too. It wasn't just the South. Let's put everything in context, really. Um, and then the next book, I didn't have not read this yet, but I love this writer so much. And when, you know, his book came out, his book came out early, especially because of the national conversations that we're having. So I'm really excited. I'm really happy to have uh, Ta-Nehisi's Ta Coats uh, Between the World and Me, a letter, basically a letter to his 50-year-old son about being a black man in America. And I heard an excerpt of, of it. Um, on NPR and like when he was holding this book for the first time like he nearly cried and just reading an excerpt like him reading a piece of the book uh, like I nearly cried honestly so I'm gonna read this probably looking like a mess but I hear it's so good also one thing about it I saw a criticism of it which I feel feels not really a fair criticism but uh, it was actually pretty interesting that um, um, Coates, he actually retweeted this um, review and this criticism of his book, which was very, uh, you know, very respectful for of him. And you know, he it's like in a way it was him acknowledging that this thing was true about the book. But uh, there was a review by a black woman on the Roots saying that the proof that black men are still men and that this book omits the experiences of black women when um, I'm totally going into that expecting that to be true even before I heard that review because it's about you know a black man the author sending a letter to his son who's going to be a black man in America so uh, it's definitely going to talk more about the black male experience in America than uh, black female experience or even it's just you know he's speaking about what he can speak about and not about an experience that he can't talk about personally and I thought that was fair to not really talk about that and I think he maybe touched on it a little bit but I think it's not his place to speak on it and he didn't do that so I don't really have a problem with him in that sense or at least that criticism that I heard of the book but uh, yeah, I mean, and also he even acknowledged it by retweeting the review, which, you know, was very cordial and respectful and polite and, um, you know, acknowledging this. I mean, like, it was just weird that, 
you know, a black woman expected a black man to write about her experiences when we could always just, you know, read like Toni Morrison or read a bunch of other awesome, great female black authors um, and have, you know, the black female experience told from black women instead of expecting black men to speak on that. Um, yeah. It was just like it was just a little weird thing, little weird thing, little extra thing. This is gonna be a short video, uh, and that is my Friday reads thing and some books that I got. So I'm happy. I'm gonna have a good weekend. About to watch some um, watch some things with some friends and hope everyone has a great weekend and a day, night, morning, wherever you are. Bye.